Hi everyone, my name is Dinesh Sirisena and today we're going to be talking about imaging the medial aspect of the elbow. As with other talks, I recommend two resources. First of all, the ESSR guidelines on musculoskeletal ultrasound with a particular focus on the elbow and also ultrasoundcases.info. So here are the ESSR guideline images on scanning the medial elbow. With the hand in a supine position, the medial aspect of the elbow is exposed. And when you scan in a longitudinal plane, you will see the medial epiconda with the common flexor origin attaching over the top. You'll see the medial joint line with the medial collateral ligament and the ulna distally. If you then turn the transducer into a short axis orientation, you'll see the medial epicondyle with the ulna, and in between you'll see stretched across it the medial collateral ligament. Often, when I'm scanning patients in clinical practice, I'll either have them lying supine, with the arm also in a supine and slightly externally rotated position, or I'll have them seated so that the elbow is resting on the examination couch and their arm is again in an externally rotated position, or finally, I'll have them prone with the arm tucked behind their back. This is a lot more stable and a lot more comfortable for the patient. And it also exposes the medial aspect of the elbow very easily. So you can see when scanning the medial aspect of the elbow in all three orientations, it's important to start off in a longitudinal axis. And again, this is typically what we will see. The medial epicondyle with the common flexor origin overlying we'll see the medial joint line with the medial collateral ligament overlying, and we'll see the ulna. Here are some examples of medial epicondylitis taken from ultrasoundcases.info. You can see that the common flexor origin appears hypoechogenic and thickened, suggestive of edema, and if uh, the power Doppler was applied, there may be evidence of neovascularity as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video informative and it adds to your knowledge of musculoskeletal ultrasound imaging. If you did, please remember to hit the like down below and follow the channel for further updates. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and please remember to check out sportsmedinfo.sg. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all very soon.